Well, we've been away from the boat for about 10 days and uh, we've come back and we've got quite a bit of clearing up to do. It's a lot better than, <laughs> than what it was earlier on because unfortunately we were moored slightly forward and there's a big branch there and unfortunately that was frequented by a lot of birds and you can imagine the result. Well, so, we didn't realise that birds went in trees, did we? No, well, <laughs> of course not. But anyway, um, so the canvas, our crutch covers had to have a be right, a scraped scrub. and everything. So we've done that. We've moved everything off. The poor moved old the boat, back. boat itself is, was covered in tree sap. So we've had a good cleaning session today. Um, still in the middle of it. Still in the middle of it, sweeping all this off. My poor old plants suffered a bit. Um, as you can see, the poor old strawberry plants is uh, much better than what it did. I mean, Mark and Julie popped down to give them the water for me. But it's been really hot down here up in Scotland. Of course, it's a bit different. Um, so the poor old boat's looking a bit grubby, paintwork wise, but we get that sorted. But we've had a good sweep off and you see different bits and pieces. And it's still quite a humid day. But the sun has uh, been pretty decent to us. It hasn't sort of scorched us a bit, so we can actually get on and do this maintenance work. This is so old job, even the poor old um, solar panels were As they thick. say, it sticks like to a blanket. Yeah. It also <laughs> sticks like it to paint and all. Yeah. So we've got to get it off because we don't want the paint to damage. Well, some of it needs to be doing Oh, I know, but it can go on for a little bit longer, can't it? So anyway, I hope you enjoy our next instalment of our vlog and thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. And I'll leave him to carry on scrubbing away. Scrubbing bird droppings. This was our mooring here for a few days. This is at Tile Mill, so we've just had a turned round, wind round, because we're heading off to get some back up to the lock to get some water and dispose of all bits and pieces. And then we're going to wind round and then head down to the Canning Man. But that was that was our mooring. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We just winded in the weir. Winded in the weir, yeah. The flow's not very strong, so it's okay. Yeah. So we say goodbye to Mark and Julie for a few days. Because they're going to catch up with us in a bit. Got a nice day for a bit of cruising. This is Tile Mill Lock, which we came through a few a few days back, but um, it comes out onto a road bridge, and this was not working properly, so we had CRT chap down here operating the bridge. And the day we came down, it was raining, so bless him for holding up and waiting for us to come through. Um, and as you can see, you can just come straight out the lock, straight onto this little bridge. It's getting a little bit busy on the bridge because it's approaching work time, bless them. And as you can see, they don't slow down when they're crossing the bridge. You need to have a little wits away. And then the other side of the bridge, here's the water point where we're taking on water. There's rubbish facilities, there's Elson, Pampa, and there's even some toilets over there. There's also some long-term moorings just on the side there. But I have to say, it's been a beautiful spot. Absolutely beautiful spot. Just got to cross the other side now to get back onto the boat.
Russell Russell. Taking on water. That's the Lose. Roche Points. It's not a little bad facility here. They've even used an old pillbox. So this is Selhampton Swing Bridge. Yeah, I'll see you down at the lock. And here comes Mark. And the little green boat. And we have Penny with us today. No. Go off at the lock. Yeah, go down to the lock, yeah. Okay. First lock of the day. Swingbridge was first, then the lock. And we got a swing bridge next, which is an electric one, a tile mill, and then another lock. Yeah. Family assistance there. Just wondering whether that wide beam is still on the bridge landing. Alright, we'll, we'll find out when we get there, won't we? But at the moment, glorious day. Oops, hello. Just a bit concerned about my leg, trapping my leg, that's all. But no need to worry. To the, to the right of us are the gravel pits. Gravel pits, yeah, private fishing. Private fishing, and um, you can see the fencing going around, that's to keep otters out. Had a good walk down here a few days ago and it's very pretty in there, very pretty. Well this weekend is supposed to be an absolute scorcher according to the weather forecast because we've got a lot of heat coming up from um, France, Italy, Spain. Yeah, 40 odd degrees. So they, yeah, so they reckon it's going to be at 40 odd degrees down here in the south of England. So we decided, amongst other things, to move this morning. This is a little breeze this morning but it's still very beautiful and hot. But we have got lots of sun lotion on because of the glare from the water as well one and for the first time and I don't know how long 
both boats have got a lot of space not only at the front and the back but also at the side That is a very rare treat. This lock also has a big handle on the side. I'll see why in a minute. wet and icy to slip in there that's where they've put a handle on it. Rush hour. Rush hour on the canal at the moment. box down there. This is Garston Lock. Number 102. A bit different here, there's actually two pillboxes, one this side and one the other side of the lock. It's quite unusual. This is one of the monkey marsh locks. Makes it look a bit different. Monkey marsh. Little short one though, compared to the last one we went through. Looks like I'm going to have to duck. Yeah, I don't know. I might be able to get it down there. <laughs> it's going to have to duck. I'll scratch your back for you. Oh, well, here we go. So it's 20 to 12, 20 to midday. So that's the Friday traffic on the M4. This is the first thing we've had, well no, this is the second time. I can't actually remember the first time. Well, it, was, it was in spate last time, wasn't it? Oh right, okay. It was slowing quite quick, but we were going against it, so it slowed us down. We went from Fort New York Bridge. It's strange to think that's the M4 above us. S bend, you say? Got a foot bridge going over the top, and then there is. Uh, a couple of S bends. Tighter than that one was. So you can't see if there's anything coming, so you've got to stay over, which makes it more difficult to get round. You can't really cut the corner, otherwise, you might be met with a wiping. In 
this is a river section as well, so we're going with the flow at the moment. Engine's on about half speed. Oh, speed up. No, but that's the problem you have with a 70 foot boat and we don't have any bow thrusters. going on there's beautiful geese what's we doing well it looks like the boat's herding them all in oh, they don't take off and decorate the pinky roof ah, beautifully herded Yeah. 
How's it going? Woman's work's never done. He's been at this for hours. Oh, it's like glue, isn't it? We'll leave him to it. See you next time. Yeah.